When to Windsor? This is the question we're going to be tie tackling today. Ha <laughs> ha! I gotta stop with the alliterations. The bonus Alpha M vocab word of the day is alliteration, meaning two or more words together starting with the same sound. So tie tackling today, that is an alliteration. Now I'll stop. Back to ties. Now in this video, I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail, ton of explanation. Basically, I'm gonna give you my opinion on when is the best time to wear a Windsor or its more casual counterpart, the four in hand. The Windsor knot is going to be your go-to knot, your standard knot when you're looking to dress up, when you are suited and booted. But here's the deal. The Windsor knot really doesn't look too great and is kind of tough to do with skinny ties. All right, so the standard tie is anywhere from three and a half to two and a half inches, all right? Once you get to two and a half, you're going over to the slimmer side. And to determine your ties width, you're actually taking the measurement from this point to this point, right across there. So if your tie is under two and a half inches, I would opt for a smaller, more subtle, more subdued knot, something like the four in hand. All right, once around, wrap it down, it's pretty easy. Now, the four in hand knot also works best, in my opinion, with all knit ties. If you're wearing a tie with a casual outfit, I would always go with the four in hand knot. It's simple, it's subtle, it's small, and it's a more casual option. All right, so we talked about the width of the tie and the knot that you're actually choosing. Now let's talk about the shirt, because the collar of the shirt also is going to impact the option that you choose. Now, the Windsor, to work it right, I would opt for the widespread collar. Because of the wide distance between the two points, you're going to have more room. It can support a larger knot. Now, if you're going with a smaller or standard point collar, I would opt for a smaller knot. But Big Papa Windsor, oh yeah. It's the knot that you want to choose when you want to look like the boss because it is large, in charge, timeless, and classic. Now, because I am a style blogger and every style, it's like a rite of passage. If you're a blogger, if you're talking about men's style, you do a tie tying video, right? There are 18,000 on YouTube. Everybody's got one, right? Well, Alpha is no exception. If you missed the video or if you would like to watch the video for the first time where I show you my three favorite knots, because here's the deal. There are so many crazy knots out there. You don't need to know them. You need to know these three. They are the Windsor, they are the four in hand, and they are the Nikki knot. That video is linked below along with another one where I show you the secret, the trick to getting a dapper dimple. All knots were not created equal, but now you know when and where to Windsor.